In question 11, you're asked to draw graphs of those functions using the sketch method. Now the first point you've got to make use of is the y-intercept. Looking at the two I've got here, straight away, I can see my y-intercept in the first instance is it's 4, or 0, 4 as a point. And the second instance, 0, minus 12. Now I've only done little sketch graphs here, but you can just see how I've been able to label them off quite readily. The next thing I've got to find is the x-intercept. And that occurs when y is equal to 0. Doing some transposing, I soon find that's 2x is equal to minus 4, or x is equal to minus 2. I line that up as my x-intercept and label it, and draw a straight line through the two points. Two points are all that's required to get yourself a straight line. In 11D, same process, we've identified the y-intercept, 0, negative 12, and I find the x-intercept when y, and you really need one y, is equal to 0. Doing the transposing, uh, 0 is equal to negative 2x minus 12. Bring that over there, negative 2x is equal to 12, or x is equal to negative 6. Label on the graph and draw the line through the two points. That's a take.